piano meno uno. So our first stop of the day is the San Siro ground and we're starting off with the museum and I think I have a tour as well but I think it was about time we did something for him because he doing so much for me <laughs> so yeah Diving deep into the waves babe I know that you want it to It's a risk worth taking even if it's over soon Want you skin tight, close like denim Come on, love me right When it's sending, I'll be fine I got your body close to mine Call me if it's only for tonight Your hands on my body Cause my body's what you like We've just finished up with the tour. It was really good actually. So it was 30 euros per person. You first walk into the museum and you have about 15 minutes to walk around at your own free will. Then a tour guide walks you around the actual stadium. So you start off with the locker rooms, go down to the pitch and all of that. And after that, there's another museum. You get to walk around the shops and all of that. So now we're just going to the hotel. That's the tree the stadium behind you. <laughs> We're going to the hotel, we're gonna go check in and we're gonna see if we can get some food because we've been complaining that we're hungry since 8 in the morning. And we are all checked in. Our room's actually quite bigger than expected, so. You walk in, you have a mirror here and the bathroom's in there. We've got our big, big double bed. We've got a wardrobe. You're bigger than the wardrobe, bro. <laughs> And we've also got a TV up there and two big, big windows. But yeah, so we're gonna chill and go get food because we are starving. But we should have a restaurant saved that's pretty close to the hotel. So hopefully within like five minutes we'll have food in our tummies. Well, at least the elevator is an upgrade. <laughs> if you haven't seen my last video, make sure to check that out. The... On either corners. <laughs> Luke's literally running to food at this point. So we got here just a little bit too late. The plan was to actually go up the Duomo. Okay, I'm scared shitless of pigeons. And this is not the place to be if you're scared shitless of pigeons, I'm just putting it out there. But yeah, so we missed out on Duomo and we're gonna see what else we can do around here pretty much. So we've walked around and done a bit of window shopping, purely window shopping because everything is so out of our budget. And now we're trying to figure our way to an arcade. I think we're close.
This was so fun. I never thought it would be that fun. Although it was a bit expensive, so it was 56 euros for two people. But when you break it down, it's not that bad. So it was a 7 euro one-time registration fee, 18 euros for the actual lapse, and then we paid 3 euros extra to get the camera, which honestly, worth it. We can't sleep. So we basically finished up from go-kart, got food, and we got the train here, and we're tired. Super tired. <laughs> we literally caught up on TikToks and we're gonna sleep. I will get you in the morning for a day at Como. Good night. <laughs> we are all done up and we're heading off to Como, hopefully. <laughs> so we haven't actually booked anything, so we're just gonna go to the station and hopefully find a train to Como. Like I've done a quick Google and there should be a direct train. But we'll see when we get there. And we have made it to the General Como region after quite a while running around the train station in Milan. So we tried to get our tickets from the actual machines and it said that we can't buy any tickets. Then we looked into renting a car because crazy wanted a car and it was like 200 euros for a day so we're like nah fuck that. So we found one of the guys and we got tickets from them. She was actually very very helpful. And now we're here and we're walking to the lake. We made it. Once we got to Lake Como, we then found the ferry port and we actually had our tickets pre bought. So when we bought our train tickets, she gave us the option to also buy the ferry tickets. So we bought an 18 euro ticket, which included the train with return and also the ferry to go around like four stops. But we only did the one because we got hungry. We're going to go get food. slightly disappointing <laughs> very disappointing <laughs> yeah so we're just walking back to the train now pretty much and we're yep. going back to Milan and probably to eat again <laughs> look who's pretty much asleep like a little grandpa it's 7pm it's literally 7pm bro <laughs> Good morning. So we're just getting ready to check out basically and go figure out how we're gonna get to the airport. So we stopped at Malpensa and we're leaving from Bergamo. So we can't even get the same thing that we got into the city. But we're gonna see if there's something with like Trenitalia, the train company, like the major train company from what I can figure out. Um, that or the bus service we used in Rome because they seem to have an option. <laughs> well, this trip I really wanted to challenge myself and I decided not to book anything in advance really. So usually I would book the transfers from like the airport to the city centre or wherever we're staying and any major transport that we're gonna need. And this trip I'm like, hmm. What would happen if I don't book those? So we managed everything so far. Obviously, we got to the city center and we went to Como and came back successfully. So I'm sure we'll get to the airport. No problem. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll give you updated. <laughs> also, I just wanted to say, if you are staying in Milan and you need a cheapish, decent hotel, this is a really good option. It's like five minutes away from the main station, like from Milano Centrale. And it's actually very decently sized it's clean the only thing that i didn't really like is that every time you leave the hotel you have to give them the key i'm assuming it's because people lose it but it's like mm, why are you not letting me have access to where my stuff is but well, we didn't have any problems like they give it to you instantly when you're back um 
They did come into the room to clean while we were out yesterday though. So yeah, I don't like people snooping around, but obviously I appreciated cleaning the room, so can I really complain? I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna finish up getting ready and literally get ready to leave. And we have found a bus. So the initial thought that there weren't any trains was right. <laughs> We did find a bus in the tree right around the corner from the station. So. <laughs> actually filmed an outro for this video so I'm just popping in to say thank you for watching if you enjoyed what you saw don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye